for this. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Donna Sports Show, brought to you by, you know, my great friends like Shoeless Joes and uh, Mugs and Manor, uh, the Pyramid, uh, you know, all those guys. I, I've told you about them. Uh, we're going to have a great show today. Sitting in with me is my good friend, uh, Harry Theodore, from, uh, well, the Village of Addison. He's a trustee. Harry, uh, welcome to the show. Oh, this is great. I'm having fun already. I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> well, we'll put you to work in a little in a little while. Uh, we'll make some phone calls, folks, uh, so stay with us, and uh, we'll be right back. Hi, everybody. Uh, Don Figarelli here, the Donna Sports. I want to tell you about a new sponsor uh, we got recently, uh, the Addison Park District, okay? Uh, now, the website is addisonparkdistrict.com in small letters, all right? And the phone number is 1-630-233-7275. Now, let me just read you uh, some of the things from their brochure. You know, there's a summer brochure, a fall brochure, a uh, spring brochure. Stop in at 120 uh, Oak in uh, Addison. You could uh, get the brochure. I'm going to read off some of the things that they offer, but you know, I, I, I can't do it all, but I'm going to give you some highlights. Like at Club Fitness, all right? They have... Uh, the uh, so many things you could do there: personal training, uh, discounted uh, ad admission, and you know monthly fee, a yearly fee. They have a boot camp, uh, personal training, kettleball basics, the uh, zombie boot camp, diabetes prevention. Uh, stroller stride. I'm just there's so many things you could do. Adult intermediate swim, adult uh, swim lessons, private swim lessons, parent tot, uh, water explorers, tadpoles, minnows, seahorses. Wow, you could do so many things there at that club fitness. And then, of course, they have uh, links. These are only two of the things. There's many, many other things you could do at the Addison Park District. Links and tees, golf facilities. Wow. They have group golf outings, birthday parties, golf leagues, summer junior golf, clubhouse uh, available, uh, foot golf. You know, with football, it's like soccer. You kick a ball into a into a big hole. It's like soccer, but it's golf combination. Uh, junior programs, snag program for youngsters, miniature golf, outdoors uh, training for golf, putter's peak. Yeah, you could play miniature golf there. It's a beautiful facility. It's a big putter's peak. It's a big mountain. Uh, and birthday parties all at the Addison Park District. Please go to the website addisonparks.com or call them 1-630-233-7275, the Addison Park District, the greatest. Hi, everybody. The Donna Sports here. Let me tell you about a new sponsor for me, Shoeless Joe's Ale House and Grill, 1480 West Lake Street in Addison, Illinois, and the phone number is 847-773-9147. Dine in and carry out. Now, I'm not going to list all the things that they have, but what I'm going to do for you is uh, when you look at the menu, it'll go like this. Lead off hitters, okay? Shoeless wings, five wings, uh, $7.99, 12 wings, $13.99. Homemade soup and chili. Field of Dream Salad, Bases Loaded Pizza, <laughs> Create Your Own Pizza, Papa Joe's Pasta, Wow, Marinara, Vodka Pasta, All Kinds of uh, Pasta, uh, Ground Rules, Crosstown Classics, All American Burgers, this is off of the menu now, uh, A League of Their Own, and then there's listed a couple of burgers under there, All Star Sandwiches and Wraps, Hall of Fame Paninis, Bench Players, $3, House Specials, Chicken Entree, Joe's Pesci, and Extra Innings. Shoeless Joe's, get over there and uh, enjoy yourself. The place is great. Take care now. Hi, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back. On the line with me now is my good friend, 
big guy Tom Michael. Hello, Tom. Hey, how are you, Don? How I'm doing. I'm doing good, Tommy. Sitting next to me is a good friend of mine, Harry Theodore, from the village of Addison. I, I think you met Harry a few times. Oh yeah, times. Harry, I met Harry. Yeah. yeah how you doing, good Tommy? Time. Yes, it's uh, been a while. Has he, has he had any uh, pasticcio lately? <laughs> <laughs> In fact, my wife didn't make one last Saturday. The kids were over, so you know that that lasts yeah. about 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. And it's pretty well gone. Harry, right in the middle of lawn bowling now, uh, tell Harry uh, how you got that started and, and what it entails. Well, it, 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 it it's as long as uh, curling. It's 40 yards, and it's on grass, mm -hmm. bench grass usually. Uh -huh. And you, you have a jack that you throw out, which is the target. Okay. And then you roll bowls. Bowls are weighted so that they'll curl. Mm -hmm. And you try to get closest to that jack as you can. Mm -hmm. And if you have five around it and someone puts one closer, it's only one point for the opposition. It's sort of like bocce in a way, right? Uh, the Italian yeah. game bocce, Harry? Yeah, but I there's, mean, there's uh, no fighting. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> it's what? <laughs> there's no fighting. Yeah. Right. Do, does, Tom, does the grass have to be a certain length? I mean, when you get well, into yeah, this it's, it's serious... Low, sometimes the grass isn't that good, but that's kind of low. But then also we had 35 kids from the University of Chicago come and try it for the first time. Wow. Hmm. And that what was... happens was I lined them all up and I said the girls are going to win. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? They won. You know why? Why? They listen. The guys, they just give me the damn thing. I'll throw it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And yeah. the girls want to know exactly how to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or they try to yeah. throw it real hard or there's no strategy uh, with the guys probably. Yeah. Okay. You know, this will be a treat for you. Lori's going to tell you the differences between bocce and curling, okay? Oh, all right. Yeah, great. The difference? Hi, Lori. Uh, hi. La say hi to Harry, Lori. La Harry's hi. sitting in with Hi, Lori. Oh, that's okay. your, your wife's I name. I can is shout. Laura. Yes, I love your name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank that's, you. That's my wife's name, too. The, um... Difference between bocce and lawn bowling mm -hmm. is the weight of the bowl, bowls are heavier than a bocce ball. Really? Hmm. And the the thing you refer to as the P in bocce is the jack oh. in lawn bowling. Yeah. And it has to be lined up in the center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can get knocked out a little bit and still keep the game going. Mm -hmm. But you roll the bowl. You don't throw it. Oh. Because mm -hmm. if you throw it, it loses loses the forward motion mm -hmm. and doesn't get to the target. Oh, sure. Almost like a ball, a bowling ball. You Almost, you mm -hmm. set it down right in your area and you let it roll. Yes. You mm -hmm. take one step only, though, and it's funny to watch bowlers because they kind of want to do a mo more step. <laughs> it kind of feels like a, a regular bowling ball. I could see that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Oh, there's no finger. It's just a ball, though. There, there's no, no finger, finger holes. Yeah, no finger holes. No right. finger holes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It took me a couple of years to call it a bowl <laughs> <laughs> rather than a ball. <laughs> a, a bowl. A B O W L. Yeah. Or, or bowl. They right. kept, people kept correcting me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Laura, put Tom back on again. I got a couple questions for him. Thanks. Right. Th thank you, Laurie. Thanks, Laurie. Here's, here's Tom. You're welcome. There you got an expert opinion. Yeah, there you go, Tommy. Uh, Tom, what about your Kiwanis Club? Now, Harry was a Kiwani, uh, Kiwanian. Uh, uh, what's going on? Ago. Don't you have a golf outing coming up? Uh, well, no, not a golf outing, but that, that, uh, that's uh, really River Grove, if, it, if they do it again, oh, I'll okay. let you know. All right. And then, But one of the things about that we did for uh, Kiwanis, i got to tell Harry this, is that we bought 10 battery-operated cars for Todd, had the rehabilitation come in, and uh, retrofit them for the kids' difficulties, mm -hmm. where he can start it by bending his hand or his head. And these are little Tots, so they get to be able to motorize. One little tyke who got the car, wanted to go to McDonald's. His father took him there in the drive-in with the little car, wow. and he asked for a hamburger. How touching is that? Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, so that's the type of thing we do. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, Anything like that is for the kids. 
Yeah. How can you not? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm getting they, goosebumps already right. from thinking they of him going bifida, sideways. And we have a cap for him where you can put the entire wheelchair on a swing set. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, right. That's fantastic stuff, yeah, boy. It really is. And people not. should hear more about what you guys do. Exactly. I don't think they, they hear about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, spina bifida is such a destroying uh, disability that in several of the hospitals, they're solving it in the womb of the mother when they can find it. Wow, wow. before they're born. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, boy. I'll tell you. So there's a lot of different things. So that's what we do, plus scholarships, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But anyway, because you have a sports show, uh, the Cubs are in a little trouble, huh? <laughs> well, it's early yet, you know, Tom. I mean, I know. Uh, you know, I, I, I always say I'd rather see them in, about in second place or third until then come September. That's when you get hot. Yeah. Because, you know, because well, then. I think, you know, you might see two players on the trading bar. Mm -hmm. One would be Schwarber, and one would be that fella Hap if he's doing any better. Oh, yeah. Well, you could rip that off. A lot of fans like Schwarber, though, Tom. I don't know if they'd trade him, uh, you know. Well, but, you know, this has a. I know, but you can get a lot for him in the American League. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You, Mostly right. for relief, you think? Or. Uh, a relief? Well, yeah. And this relief. year, you know, the Packers and the Bears are both celebrating their 100th anniversary. Wow. Of course, you're they're, a Packer. You're a Packer fan. Cause well, yeah, you. Because <laughs> can't half, take that away from me. Half of his <laughs> half of his family is in Wisconsin there, so they're yeah. a big, big Packer fan. Uh, and, and plus the fact Vince Lombardi and myself sh share the same birthday. Is that a fact? Wow. Yeah. How about that? What, what is what date is that, Tom? June eleventh. Wow. I was eighty-three. Holy moly! That's our anniversary date. Me and June. Is it really? Ju June eleventh. Yeah. So wow. now you got to cheer a little bit for the Packers well, when they don't play the Bears. Yeah. Well, I do. No, no, no. That I do. I really, I honestly say that I, uh, because of uh, you know their tradition mm. and right. uh, and Ray, Ray Nitschke went there, you know, and I kind of pal. I didn't pal. Well, you know, you know, he grew up in Mel in uh, Elmwood Park. Yeah. Yes, I knew that. And he too. went to Proviso West. Yeah. Right. Or, uh, or yeah, East rather. East. Right, yeah. Well, that's yeah. why I kind of like the Packers. And you see where Bart Starr passed away, too. Did you yes. see that? Yeah. The, Did he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a, a few weeks ago. But, uh, yeah. uh, no, I pull for the Packers when they don't play the Bears, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tommy, let me know when that golf outing is, will you? Wait, wait, wait just one real quick second. Uh, what about Madden? I mean, they're talking about I'll, firing I'll let you, him. I'll let what? you know. Jeez, <laughs> I can't believe it. I know. <laughs> All okay, right. you take care, guys. Yeah, thanks so a lot, long. Tom. Bye. Nice to talk to you, Tom. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Tommy. Hi, everybody. The Donna Sports here. Hey, you guys. It's time to get out and golf. The DuPage County Forest Preserve courses are open. Maple Meadows at 272 Addison Road in Wooddale. It's a lynx-type course that is in great shape and no trees to hit. That's what a lynx-type course is, not many trees. Oak Meadows at 900 North Wooddale Road in Addison is a traditional course with trees, beautiful flowers, and not many sand traps. And the price is reasonable. And get this, it has the longest bar in DuPage County for the 19th hole. And Green Meadows on 63rd and Westmont, a shorter course that is in great shape also. All of these courses are waiting for you at reasonable prices. Call Oak Meadows at 630-595-0071 and make your tea time. America is one of the largest financial services marketing organizations in the nation with approximately 95,000 licensed independent representatives. Primerica is an industry leader in financial services. I'm Mike Figarelli, an independent representative and senior vice president in the Bensonville area, and the company's goal is to help ordinary families prepare for their financial futures. We've shown many local families how to do just that, and we are prepared to grow locally by providing people with financial solutions as well as a great business opportunity. As an independent representative with Primerica, you can build a business of your own part-time or full-time. To learn more about the Primerica business opportunity, call me, Mike Figarelli, at 630-860-0033. Again, that's 630-860-0033.
Hi everybody, welcome back. On the line with me now is my good friend Joanne. Joanne, hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Her, uh, Joanne, say hi to Harry Theodore. He's sitting right next to me. And Harry is the uh, a trustee for the village of Addison. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Whatever and wow that means. Oh, that's yeah. great. Joanne lives in... Oh, sure. I she, know. The townhouse is over there. Yeah. Beautiful Hi, area. Harry. Hi. Right by the golf course. Mm. Right by the golf course. Yeah, exactly. She, she moved down from Fox Lake. Fox? No, 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 Don. <laughs> Fox River Grove. <laughs> There's no difference, is there? <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> Water was in it somewhere. <laughs> I always kid her. I said, you, you live in Fox Lake. She goes, no, I don't do it. You Fox River Grove. Well, it's the same thing, ain't it? No, no. She said, well, it's 20 miles apart or something. Well, one is on Route 12, and Fox <laughs> River Grove is Route 14. Uh -huh. Uh, all right, you had a question for. Uh, well, I got a question for you too, Joanne. But Harry's got a question for you. Well, we're okay. big Cub fans. Uh, my wife loves Chris Bryant, and kind of ticks me off sometimes when I <laughs> I watch her looking. look at him go to bat, and she's got this beautiful smile on her face. <laughs> and I said, just because you like him doesn't mean he likes you. So don't. <laughs> but maybe keep he will. That. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh. But, uh, yeah, she she's, she's really enjoys the baseball. She never did as much the last, obviously, three or four years. But uh, loved the game, and, and it's nice to see somebody like my wife, who's, mm, she's been around for a while, okay. uh, enjoy the Cubs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what, is what about you? What about, well, what about Chris White, uh, Joanne? Because he's tall, dark, and handsome, or why? Exactly, and he's got beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, yes, he does. Uh, oh, one blue one way, one blue the other way. That's a, <laughs> no, no, a crazy no, no, joke. No, 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 uh, <laughs> Not those kinds. Uh, any, anyone else on the Cubs you kind of like, Joanne? Or, uh, is he well, I just... like Anthony Rizzo, but looks-wise, it's Chris Bryant. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we, uh, we didn't do too good in the All-Star game, but... You know, he got up once, you know, and... Uh, oh, did he... Oh, was he playing? I was just staring oh, at him. I didn't know what he was doing. He, yeah, no, he he got picked for the <laughs> All-Star team, and uh, he he got up, but he, he didn't do too well, because uh, the National League lost, of course. American League won uh, four to three. Uh, uh, oh, boy. Yeah, so... But anyway, to join here, I got a question, a trivia question for you. Oh, okay. well, bite pass. Yeah, where, and if you answer it, you get a trip to Las Vegas. Oh, yay. <laughs> I'll take my friend Julie with me. There you go. All right. The trivia question is, how many home runs did Ernie Banks hit with the Chicago Cubs? The total number yeah. of home no, runs. 512. Wow. That's correct. Wow. It how is? did you know that? Yeah. I, I, don't, I guess I've heard it on the radio a lot of <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's terrific! Yeah, I, I don't would, know I would have guessed, address, but I know that. Uh, uh, I would have guessed around three or four hundred. Wow, five hundred. Yeah, five hundred five hundred twelve. Very. All right, Joanne. Uh, how's your uh, How's your uh, friend uh, doing? Uh, you know, your mutual friend that uh, Joanne, oh. Joanne lost her husband a, a year or so ago, and, and we kind of. We had a friend who lost his wife, and we said, hey, why don't you guys get together? They both went to Leiden High School, no Lee Leiden. Mm -hmm. And uh, how is Duke doing, uh, Joanne? He's doing fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's behaving, and he's doing fine. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> what the heck? He should be doing something other than that. He should be misbehaving? Absolutely. <laughs> you can get away with it after 50. <laughs> <laughs> or is it after 60? I don't know. Uh, no, no. But they both, they like the same things, which is good, Harry, you know? Yeah, and, it is. Uh, and they uh, go to, do you go to concerts once in a while, Joanne, or, or not, not, you not know? Not too often. Not yeah. too often. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We usually just hang out with friends. Yeah. And uh, so it, it, they're very compatible. So we're, we're glad that uh, that came about, Joanne. And, and thanks a lot for answering the question, Joe. And uh, we'll keep in touch, huh? Okay, when do I go to Las Vegas? Oh, I'll, it'll be in the mail. <laughs> okay, thank you. Not, the, not the female, the male. So <laughs> just to make sure you get it straight. Okay. <laughs> nice meeting right. you, Joanne. Oh, nice meeting you, Harry. Nice Take talking. care, Don. Say okay. hi to Julie. I sure will. Bye-bye. Bye-bye okay, now.
Hey folks, if you get a chance, get over to J.D. Muggs Bar and Grill, located at 437 North Addison Road in Addison, Illinois. 33 different kinds of beer, can you imagine that? It's the home of the He-Man Burger, and baby, that is a He-Man Burger. Wait till you see the size of that burger. Chicken Caesar Salad, which is one of my favorites. It's a friendly atmosphere. There's karaoke on Wednesday night, and a great DJ on Fridays. Call Dean at 630-833-2570. Hey, Julie, how are you? Fine, Harry, how about you? Oh, oh you're kidding me. You knew it was me already. <laughs> I Jeez. already know that voice. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, I'm glad you recognize my voice because I recognize your voice, too. Yeah, good. All right, we're having a good day, huh? Um, terrific day, and uh, the big Don is pulling at me, wants to talk, and, you know, I can't get him off me sometimes, <laughs> He's especially these beautiful women that have been calling in. You can't. Stop him from talking, right? <laughs> well, I can, but it would hurt. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we we talked to your good friend Joanne. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. and, uh, what did she have to say? Anything good? Y well, yeah, she answered a trivia question, and uh, she won a trip to Las Vegas. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to go with her. Sounds no, good. It, it's a Las Vegas for one. Oh, no. Yeah. Figures, no figures. That's no fun. So how do you do, Julie? What are you up to? Well, um, not too much. Trying to get my uh, phone going here. I had to oh get yeah. a new one. Mm -hmm. But oh. other than that, everything's going good. Well, Beautiful day today. Absolutely. Listen, we're alive. That's a good thing. We got up in the morning. That's another good thing. And I can eat, which was always a good thing. But, yeah, uh, right. What more could you want, the right? The simple things of life come know, to bear. It doesn't doesn't take much to keep us happy. So who's your favorite baseball team? Oh my gosh, do I have to say the Cubs? <laughs> you better say the Cubs. <laughs> what about football? Football? Well, we got to say the Bears. <laughs> okay. How about hockey? Oh, hockey? No, I'm not too sure about hockey. You're not a big fan of hockey, No, right? not too yeah. much, no. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll, I'll give you back to Don, who... Loves everybody. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good. All right, dear. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we talked to Joanne, and uh, uh, she was having fun. You know, we were kidding around with her, and uh, she answered a trivia question, and uh, uh, she gave us her, her favorite player on the Cubs. She's in love oh, with Chris who's Bryant. Who's oh, really? Well, he's cute. <laughs> oh, no. You too? <laughs> Oh, wow. It doesn't matter uh, how I'll he plays, but he's so hours. cute. Yeah, that's what it is. I'll be done. All right, right Joel. We'll okay. let you go. Uh, right. You have a good day, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Sounds good. Have All a right. good one. Yeah, we will. Bye-bye okay. now. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Tom Sims. I'm the owner of Fox Bowl. We are Fox Bowl Training Center and Pro Shop. We set ourselves apart because we emphasize instructions. We have a full-time bowling instructor, Greg Zika. We have instant replay, videotape each bowler. Another program that we have is our Youth Bowling, USA Bowling. It's an eight-week program, after-school type of thing. It's eight weeks for $88 with instructions, and every child gets a free bowling ball, a $75 value. And thank you from Fox Bowl. Hi everybody, <laughs> welcome Hello. back. Hello, Hello. Deanne. Deanne? Yeah. Or Jack. <laughs> Jack. Uh, who's this? Uh, Don Figarelli. Uh, Jack, uh, oh, how yeah, are you? Yeah. I remember you. You remember me? <laughs> well, yeah, listen, sitting next to me is my good friend Harry Theodore. You What's may have on? you may have met Harry. Uh, You're doing a show now? Yeah, I'm doing a show right now. We're on the air? Yeah, we're on the air, so uh, say hi to Harry for me. And uh, he's sitting. I'd like the game last night. Oh, pretty nice. How are you, <laughs> Jack? This is Harry Theodore. Yeah, the game was all right. Well, the American League won, so you're happy for that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, right. All, all, all the all guys played, didn't they? Yeah, almost everybody played, uh, which is good. You know, that's what it's a showcase for. And the guy from the Sox did. He did pretty good. You know, the pitcher Galito. Uh, Galito. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he what did. Your guys? He he did pretty. Well, yeah. Paisans. yeah, one of my paisans. That's right. 
he did he did all right, and, and McCann did good to catch her from the Sox. He he caught the quite. one of my guys. Yeah, that's one of you tried, an Irishman from Notre Dame. That's right. Oh, South <laughs> Notre Dame. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Uh, my my daughter and son-in-law and the two boys were at a game about three or four weeks ago now. Uh huh. We're here. Jose Abreu gave the little guy a ball. Really? All right. But listen, Jack, do me a favor, or DM. Well, we're going down. Yeah, one, do me a favor. Give me a, a Notre Dame schedule. Drop it in the mail for me, will you? You were okay, dying. Well, like get home. You got, yeah, you, you'll be, yeah. you'll be home pretty soon, all right, Jack? We, we just wanted to yeah. say hi and uh, wish you well, and you're in our thoughts all the time, Jack. Okay? Good luck, Jack. All right. Who was the MVP in the National League in 1959? Yeah. Uh, Ernie Banks. Oh, really? Who was, was the American, the American League was Valley Fox. Is, is that right? In 59, huh? They're both in the... All right. Also, game, of course. Okay. All right, Jack. Uh, I'll give you. I'll uh, give you, you back to Jack. Me. Yeah, we uh, we we love you, Jack. Hey, Jack. John Devitt up, pal. How you doing, buddy? John Devitt. How you doing, buddy? John, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing okay. Every day is a challenge, Jack. I've called you a couple of times. I couldn't get through. Oh, okay. I I'll, I'll call you and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Thanks a lot, D. Be good, everybody. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I'd like you to go over to Addison Advantage of Addison, a car care center. Why? Because they have a free inspection for your brakes, your exhaust, your struts, your struts, your shaft, ball joints, radiators, water pumps, timing belts, tires, wheel bearings. You realize yeah, there are that many things that would be done on a car? Hey, that's all called uh, preventive maintenance, that, right? And, that's absolutely and, right. Know, yeah, it's absolutely right. You Jack. can't be too safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get in there. And, and But if you do need some things, there's a $20 bonus voucher for any service over 250 which, you know, that 20 save you 20 bucks. And a $5 bonus voucher, I keep saying voucher, voucher, $5 off any service over $30. That'd be easy to do. An oil change would be that. You'd get $5 off. They're located at 885 Lake Street in Addison. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 6, on Saturday from 8 to 3. Give Dominic or Leon a call at 630-543-1397. All right, that's Auto Advantage of Addison Car Care Center. Great guys. They have uh, best warranty around and the longest warranty around. Uh, brakes seventy dollars off on a on a brake job with a four wheel lifetime warranty. Can you imagine that? Mm. And a one year warranty on all labor that they do. Uh, all work comes with a warranty. So if you need uh, your oil change, you need transmission, you need f uh, flush, a front end work, fuel pumps, whatever whatever you could think of on your car, go over to Addison Advantage uh, of Addison at eight eighty five Lake Street in Addison. Call Dominic or Leon six three zero five four three one three nine seven. Hi everybody, welcome back. And the line with me now is my great friend Byron Maxwell. Hello, Byron. How are you? I'm all right. Hi, say hi to Harry Theodore, uh, Byron. He's sitting next to me. I invited him on the show uh, to sit in. He's a trustee in the village of Addison, and. Uh, he loves Florida. Is he a Democrat? <laughs> I, yeah, I do enjoy Florida. I like a little bit less humidity, but I get through it okay. How are you? I'm doing good. Okay. You're a big-time golfer, I understand, huh? Three times a week. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's great. You can do that there. How about getting caught in the rain? Does that happen at all? Pardon me? How about getting caught in the rain? That probably doesn't happen too Not often. Not too often? No, we don't get... We, we get rain uh, around six o'clock in the evening. Now, occasionally one in the afternoon. We play. I I play all three times at eight o'clock in the morning. Wow, that's great. Is uh, how's Bobby doing? She plays with you, right, Bry? Yeah, she goes. Dallas uh, skin game on Friday, mm -hmm. and then Tuesday she plays. Uh, two, and she's really. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. she's a player. She's pretty. She's good. Uh, listen. Uh, Tell Harry, I said you're a big a Bear fan, but I'm not sure if you're a, a fan of the McCaskies too much. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. No, no, I'm not. 
Why not? There he is. They, they look it yeah, up. All right. They, you there? Yeah, go ahead. I looking. They had the stadium full of, of people. The yeah. Cubs did the same thing. So they got Ernie Banks, the Williams, a few, mm -hmm. and, 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 the, and the fans still came. Mm -hmm. All right, with the Tribune and the and Ray really and with McCaskey, mm -hmm. and it, uh, another one is is a uh, is uh, what's the name that owns the White Sox? That they, they he sold out the the uh, the Bulls. Uh, they could have won three more championships. Reinsdorf, yeah, right. Reinsdorf. <laughs> See, I told you he's very opinionated. Yeah. Well, a lot of what you're agreeing to is true. I mean, we I think there's a lot of people that feel that way. Yeah. Right. Well. But yeah, they got, you Cub fan is a Cub fan. They go whether they don't care who's playing. They could have had, had a high school team playing out there as long as they had the Cubs uniforms on. They're just they're fans. And they might they might beat them too. <laughs> That's right. I tell you. Uh, all right, bye. Listen, hey, thanks for the phone call you gave me a week ago, and I didn't call you back, but uh, I made up I'm for it today. There, I made up for it today. All right. How did you play? How did you play? Uh, uh, that day. I did pretty good. I, I shot my age, 85. Oh. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're getting old. You're getting know. pretty old now. I know, man. I know it. I be, and then it's easier to shoot your game, your age when you get older, by, you know. When uh, The other day, I, I, I got told her, I said, you know, one of these days, one of us ain't going to get up, you know. <laughs> old age. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're only... I hope it's me. You're only 78 or 77 or something, I think, right? You, you, you no, didn't, I'm 83. Oh, you did make 83. I'll be darned. You you made 80. Uh, well, you could shoot 83 down there in, in on a course easy. I, I only play in, I only play in scrambles. Oh, right? okay. Yeah, you don't yes. you don't. And, and uh, we we have more fun that way. Yeah. But uh, the top skin on Friday is fifteen dollars. You know, each player. Uh huh. So. Well, that's yeah. You're always winning a few bucks. You know. Oh yeah. No, yeah. I do well. All right. Bye. If I get a chance, I'll come down and see you. All right. And I will see you later. Yeah, say hi to Bobby for me. Nice right. talking with you. Bye-bye. And your friend there. Take uh, care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Hi, everybody. This is the Donna Sports Don Figarelli telling you about one of our great sponsors, all right? Pyramid Pizzeria and Sports Bar. That's right. Pyramid Pizzeria and Sports Bar. Addison's favorite pizzeria at 236 West Lake Street in Addison. Phone number 630-458-0777. Hot, fast delivery. 2012 Addison Pizza by the Slice winner. Yes, best thin crust pizza, best sausage pizza, best pizza sauce. Late night delivery. Here's their hours, Sunday to Thursday, 10, at thir 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. That's 10.30 Friday and Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 2 a.m. Minimum order, $10. Delivery charge only $2.50. Menu prices subject to change without notice. Dine-in, delivery, carry-out, catering. That's Pyramid Sports Bar and Pizzeria. www.pyramidclubaddison.com. Go there. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. On the line with you now, my good friend, Andy Tranchita. Hello, Andy. Hey, Don. How are you, buddy? I I'm all right, Andy. Say hi to uh, a friend of mine sitting in with me, Andy. Uh, Harry Theodore from the village of Addison. He's a trustee. Uh, yes. I don't know how what that means, you, though. How you doing, Andy? I'm doing fine. How are you? Good. All right. Good. Andy, uh, I got a hold of Robert now at the American Legion. Okay, and uh, you guys are going to come on uh, the TV show next Wednesday. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I know. He uh, he text messaged me, and then I uh, I answered him back. So, yeah, that's a uh, move in the right direction for them, Don. You know, I've been interfacing with him over a year about, uh, you know, going on the show. Yeah, so, he's, he's uh, coming on with a, with a uh, lady from the auxiliary, Andy. So that oh, should, that's good. Yeah, that should be a nice show. Uh, Tell Harry uh, what your company does. Uh, I'm not a real big gun guy, uh, Andy. You know what I mean. But mm -hmm. what what you're doing though is there's going to be guns. So there, uh, what you're doing is good. It's the proper way to to use one and to take care of a gun. So 
Tell Harry exactly what the Illinois Firearms does. Sure. Harry, what, what I do is I have a, uh, I'm a certified NRA firearms instructor along with a Illinois State Approved Instructor. And what we do is we teach firearm safety uh, along with many other disciplines, basic pistol, basic rifle, shotgun, um, the proper use and safe way to handle a firearm. We talk about ballistics a little bit. Uh, we take them through a class called Basic Pistol. It's a full curriculum, and uh, it's probably the best class in the world when it comes to handling a, a, a handgun. As everything from firearm safety all the way through clearing a malfunction and everything in between, and it's a lot of hands-on for the students. So this way, at the conclusion of a classroom, they they feel pretty comfortable, and then we take them to the range, and then they actually will fire somewhere between 30 and 50 rounds of ammunition, and uh, so they start the familiarization. Mm -hmm. And then uh, following that, uh, we obviously encourage them to get into some intermediate classes, and then... Uh, depending upon what their situation is, then we offer technical training and advanced training. So it's uh, it's all-encompassing. It's all around the shooting sport, which is very, very popular. Uh, it is definitely a culture. There's tens of millions of people that belong to it. And mm -hmm. I've been teaching for the last 10 years, and uh, it, it, it's been a, a pretty good uh, venture for myself. Well, it sounds great. I, I do have my concealed carry, so... Good. I've, I've done that and uh, did some work with the shotguns and the rifles, but it's sure. it's hard to find places to go to where you can practice. Uh, and the indoors things are, are are difficult. They're loud. They're noisy. You know, you like to get somewhere where you can concentrate better. Well, here here's my suggestion for you. There is a uh, there's a tactical range in um, in Waukegan called. Caliber Tactical Gun Range. It is a premier, and I mean premier, emphasize that word, uh, combat range. And uh, they offer all the disciplines as well. If you're looking for an outdoor facility, the um, facility that I've used from time to time is called Ottawa Shooting Park, and that's in Ottawa, Illinois. Gee, that's uh, a, that's from Addison, it's about an hour and 20-minute ride. It's well worth it. Yeah, nothing and, closer to Addison than that, though, huh, Andy? No, no, not not in the outdoors. There's McMillan just uh, past Kenosha, mm -hmm. and then there's the, the uh, outdoor range in, in Ottawa that are, you know, closest. Mm -hmm. um, I understand there may be something uh, that's brewing in the Marengo area, which would be right off of 88 or 290. Yeah, I think it's 290 West. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a rumor at this point in time, but uh, they may come to fruition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, well, thanks I for that information. That's helpful right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, we. I'm offering a um, a four week boot camp. Um, the classroom that I use is at the River Park Moose Lodge in River Grove. Oh, yeah, what that's we do close. Is, mm -hmm. What we do is we have a a two-hour class every Thursday, and uh, what we use as far as handguns are, we use um, high-velocity airsoft guns because basically what we're doing is we're um, bringing up the marksmanship and the proficiency, especially with holster presentation and shooting on the move and corners mm -hmm. low light. So it's a, it's it's a good intermediate class. Yeah, you might want to consider uh, coming one Thursday night, take a look at it, see what you think. Um, our, uh, I think the schedule is the last Thursday of this month will be the actual first class. Mm -hmm. So I can, if you want to text me your phone number, um, I'll give you a call or text me your your email and, uh, and I'll send you some detailed information. Great. I, I appreciate that. Thank mm -hmm. you for that. Mm -hmm. Sure, not a problem. All right, Andy. Well, hey, it sounds like you got a little bit of a cold there, buddy. Uh, you take care of yourself now. Okay, uh, Don. Yeah, and uh, we'll we'll see you next Wednesday, okay? Okay. Make sure that you got somebody at that front door because that building <laughs> is uh, a maze. <laughs>
<laughs> well, I, got, I got lost in the basement. <laughs> yeah, I hate sure. to admit that, it's but I didn't know what door to open. <laughs> <laughs> a billion dollars for that place, and then you can't get into it, or you can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but we'll, we'll correct that. Right, Harry? Yeah, absolutely. Nice yeah. talking with you. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Take care, Andy. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, folks. Hey, uh, we're going to wrap it up now. Oh, all right. Hi, everybody. Don Figuerelli here, the Don of Sports. I want to tell you about some very interesting people that I know, a wonderful company that they have, Danny and Loretta Rosenmeyer. It's their 25th anniversary being in business and uh, in conjunction with ComEd. Okay, they do a lot of work for ComEd. They're bringing stewardship to the construction industry for 25 years and counting. In trend. Outperforming every day. They're located at 18202 West Union Road in Union, Illinois. 60180. Their website, www.intren.com. That's I-N-T-R-E-N. Outperforming every day. Loretta and Danny Rosemeyer. Loretta is the chief executive officer. Her mobile phone is 815-341-4535. That's Intren. 25th anniversary, bringing stewardship to the construction industry for 25 years and counting. A wonderful corporation. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, we're going to wrap it up now uh, with my good friend Harry Theodore sitting in. Harry, did you enjoy yourself? Uh, well, this was fun. It goes so fast. Yeah, it sure and does. And you hear some interesting things from people that you probably wouldn't speak to because you don't know them. You don't know what they're interested in, but this was nice. But it was, yeah, we talked to Tom Michael, big guy Tom Michael. We talked to Joanne Williams, and uh, we talked to Deanne and uh, Dina and... I guess it's Diane, D Dina, uh, and Jack Ryan, okay? Sorry, D. Uh, uh, Byron Maxwell we talked to, uh, Julie Figarelli we also talked to, and Andy Tranchita. So we, we thank them for spending time with us. All right, folks, uh, you have a good day. And uh, drinking, of, uh, yeah, the, how about the, the 100 years? Of, are you following that, Harry? Yeah, I've been watching this ranking the best Bears players ever. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, guy who's writing it is, is uh, Will Larkin. Mm -hmm. And they're up to number seven, Neil Anderson. So these are uh, the top 100 players. Maybe when you get down to the last 20 or 25, you could uh, have some feedback from people. Okay, yeah, we did a hundred top bear players. I'm sure uh, uh, Butkus is in there. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, the, the typical ones you'll know. Walter, know. yeah, right. All right. Okay, uh, folks, uh, thanks a lot for listening, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Take care now. Hi, everybody. Uh, Don Figarelli here, the Don of Sports, talking about Max Golden Pheasant. Wow. A fixture in Elmhurst for many, many years. Located in Elmhurst, of course, near Road 83 and North Avenue on the south side of the street. Now, uh, you know, it's kind of a combination sports bar, beautiful restaurant. Uh, Steve Mack, what a what a great guy. He went to York High School, a great baseball player. He's the owner. His dad owned it, and I believe his dad... Grandpa owned it also. Uh, food is terrific. You, you walk in, and there's a ter nice circular bar right there with not giant screen TVs, but nice TVs all around the bar. Uh, and there's always uh, some people around the bar, friendly people, combination, some young guys, some older guys, some young ladies, some older, you know, uh, at the bar as you first walk in. But then you go in the back, uh, where the the restaurant is terrific, big fireplace, nice tablecloth. Uh, could look out on the backyard uh, like it's a, a little atrium back there. Some flowers and trees. Could look out that window if you'd like. Uh, and uh, the service is terrific. The food is great. They have a special every day, uh, and the food is great. They uh, they the waiters, the servers are are terrific 
people and uh, reasonable prices, but but great food and a, and a great bar. So uh, do me a favor and get in to see Steve at Max Golden Pheasant in Elmhurst. Uh, do yourself a favor. You have been listening to the Donna Sports with Dr. Figarelli from the John DeVito Broadcast Center on the Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network. And remember to watch the Donna Sports with Don Figarelli every Thursday evening at 8.30 p.m. on Comcast Cable Channel number 19. The Donna Sports was directed by John DeVito and our special thanks to the executive producer of Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network, Mr. John Chaconda. This program was pre-recorded on Thursday, July the 11th, the year 2019. Until next time, friends, please be safe and thanks for listening.